Hi everybody, it's Angela with Flip and Flutter Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be using the new offset feature in Cricut Design Space to make our knockout designs so much easier. So yay for the offset feature. I love it. Makes it very, very easy to create these designs. So if you're wondering what design I'm talking about, it looks like this top part up here where I've got a family member, Grammy, and three of her grandchildren that I've put the their names using the I Love Glitter font and connecting with the hearts. Super cute. Love that font. And these are really great to put on t-shirts or those little glass plates from Home Depot or Lowe's that you can get um, for family members. They make great gifts for the holidays, whether that be Mother's Day or Father's Day, Christmas, birthdays, things like that. So I'm going to show you how we're going to create this. So for now, we're just going to hide that group. So here I've got Grammy. I've got Grammy in a nice thick font. One of my favorites to use for this is Bernard um, Condensed because to me it just works the best and it it's tall so and thick. So when you knock it out, you can still see enough of the background letters. Then I have already put together in the I Love Glitter font, Gabe, Allie, and Veronica with the hearts between it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the offset button, which I've explained how to use in a previous video. And we want to make our offset pretty thin only because when we're doing the knockout feature, we do not want too much of Grammy to be cut away. So we're probably going to go maybe this 0 0.8083. That looks pretty good. Maybe even a little bit here. We're going to have to type it maybe 0.75 or not 0 0.75, 0 0.075. And look at that, that looks really nice. I think we're gonna go with that and click apply. Look how nice that looks. It used to be so hard to create this. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to take that offset layer. We're gonna take the offset layer. Oh, and before you do anything else, don't forget to make sure that you've pre-sized how you want your offset and your layer to be. So for example, Grammy is 10 inches. So you just want to make sure that you have it sized how wide you're going to want it. Usually I try to size them the same size as the font of the background and then I just center them. And there we go. So that's kind of how it'll look. You could also, because of the last letter being a Y, if you wanted to kind of take it over so some of the G gets kind of knocked out like that, you could do that. So now I'm going to take my I Love Glitter layer down here. I'm going to go ahead and select both the offset and the background Bernard condensed layer, and I'm going to slice them. Now you'll see they've kind of cut out here. So I want to take my slice result, delete, delete, delete all but the Grammy version. Now you'll see it's got a knockout now. And what we can do is we can just quickly slide this up and layer it right there in that spot. Ta-da! Super easy now that we have this offset feature. I love it. It's going to make doing these projects so much easier in the future. So thank you, Cricut. I love the offset feature. I don't have to go and do five other steps outside of Cricut. I can do it all right here in Cricut Design Space. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If so, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see what's up in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye.